This video is for those who are using Microsoft 8 operating software and want to verify that their USB headset is set up and working properly. So let's get started. The first thing I need you to do is to go ahead and click to your desktop by clicking on the icon. Once you're at your desktop, the next thing we need to do is to open up the control panel. To do this, go ahead and move your mouse over the Windows icon in the lower left hand corner, right click, and then click on the word Control Panel. Now when your Control Panel window appears, it might look slightly different than mine. That is because I have my view set to small icons versus categories. For this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and switch back to small icons. This allows me to see all the computer settings in alphabetical order. And so the one that I want you to click on is the sound setting. So let's go ahead and click on sound. This will open up the sound window. And clearly you can see that there's four tabs. There's playback, recording, sounds, and communications. Let's start with playback. Notice down here you can see that the Cyberacoustics USB headset is listed in the window and it's set as the default device. If you do not see the Cyberacoustics USB headset in this window, that lets me know that the USB headset was not loaded properly into your computer. To correct this, go ahead and unplug the USB device and then plug it into a different USB outlet on your laptop or your computer. After about two or three minutes, Cyberacoustics headset should be listed in this window. If at a second time it does not appear, then you'll need to contact your computer manufacturer to verify that your computer is up to date with the latest software. If you see this, let's move on. Two things we're going to do right here. We're going to go ahead and set the level of the headsets and then we're going to test it to see if we hear anything out of it. So go ahead and click on speakers and then on the bottom right hand corner of the sound window click on properties. Click on the levels tab and you can see that we have the volume slider right here and I have mine set to 50. To make it louder go ahead and slide it to the right. To make it quieter go ahead and set it to the left but 50 is probably a good basis to start from. You'll also notice here on the speaker icon that the speakers are not muted. If you see a red circle next to the speaker, that's letting you know that the speaker is muted. You need to make sure that there is no red circle. And to correct this, go ahead and click on the speaker icon. The balance setting should be set at 50-50. You might want to check this just to make sure. Okay, now that we set the speaker levels, let's go ahead and click on OK. Now, let's test to see if we hear anything. So highlight speakers again, and then click on the word Configure in the bottom left-hand corner. Once this window is open, just go ahead and click on the Test, and you should hear some chimes in the left, and then on the right side of the headset. Once this is done, go ahead and click Next then next again and then go ahead and click finish. Now let's go ahead and set up the mic and make sure it's working properly. To do this click on the recordings tab. Now you can see again the Cyberacoustics USB headset is listed in the recordings tab and you'll also notice that the green check mark next to the icon signifies that this is the default device. This lets me know that the computer is using this USB headset as the default device for recording any sounds. You'll also notice over on the right hand side at the volume bar, you can see that as I record this video, my voice is causing this bar to go up and down. If you do not see the bar moving at all, let's check a couple of things and hopefully we can get this corrected. Click on microphone and then click on properties. The first thing I'd like you to do is to go ahead and go to the Customs tab. And you might see some options here called like APC or AGC or Mic Boost. Make sure they are checked. Go to the Levels tab and let's go ahead and set the levels. 
I have mine set at 80. That's a good rule of thumb average right there. Uh, if you're recording and it's a little bit loud, you might want to slide that down to 70 or 65. Uh, if you're soft-spoken, you might want to move that up to about 90 or 95. Real easy to do just by holding your mouse over it and sliding it up and down. And we'll just put it back to 81 right now. Like the speakers, you want to make sure they're not muted. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the speaker icon here and you'll hear dead silence because I've muted the microphone. Now to correct this, you can see I just clicked on that speaker icon and the mute red circle went away. Once you've done this, go ahead and click OK. Now to configure the microphone with the computer, what we'd like to do is click on the word configure and you can see the speech recognition window appears. We want to go ahead and click on setup microphone and we're going to set up the headset microphone and click next and it's telling you that you want to keep the microphone about an inch, inch and a half uh, over to one side of your mouth depending on what side you have it on. Once you've done this go ahead and click on next. Now it's asking you to read a particular sentence in your normal voice uh, into the microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Peter dictates to his computer. He prefers it to typing and particularly prefers it to pen and paper. Now you notice there's also another volume bar located right underneath what I just dictated to you. This is to let you know what your microphone is set at. So if you're speaking and you see your settings kind of fall in the green range like you're seeing here, then your volume set volume on your microphone is set correctly. If it's bouncing way over to the red side, then your microphone's a little bit loud and you might want to go back to that microphone volume setting and turn it down just a little bit. When this is done, go ahead and click Next and then go ahead and click Finish. So that kind of walks you through a couple of steps, uh, checking to make sure that your headset is working properly, setting the volume letting settings on your microphone, and making sure that the microphone is hearing your voice. Now there's one thing I need to point out, um, if that you're using software with your USB headset, like a voice over the internet chat, uh, speech recognition software, or company software, some of those re softwares require you to designate a USB device when using their software. So you want to check within the software to see if there's audio settings, and if there are, make sure that you have selected a USB device versus an analog device. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call. You can reach us directly at area code 360-823-4100. We're open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, except for holidays, Pacific Coast time. I hope you found this video helpful, and I thank you for watching it.